I got injured playing soccer in college and I was just thinking, it's nothing bad. I'll get through it. Then over time, I started feeling more and more pain. I just attributed it to being old and not being able to recover. And then in 2012, I lost the ability to walk. Philip developed a condition called osteochondritis desiccans, in which the bone starts to lose blood supply and then actually starts to die off along with the cartilage coating that's on top of it. I was worried about my future and what was gonna happen for my wife, for me, my kids. I did a lot of research and decided to go with Dr. Colvin and Mount Sinai. There's no cure for the condition that he has. We decided that doing a transplant would probably be the best option. Dr. Colvin was one of two doctors who told me about this allograft transplant surgery. And at first, I almost walked out. I didn't even think it was possible at the time. I just thought transplants were for organs. And the more I researched it after her telling me, I decided to go with the transplant. We have a donor who has bone and cartilage of the similar size to the patient that needs to receive it. And we take a portion of that and put it into the person who needs it. It's certainly not a common procedure, but when it's done for the right reasons, it can be really effective. She told me that the road to recovery is gonna be a long one and I better be ready for it mentally. That was scary. I knew that if I was gonna do this, I had to completely change my mind. I said, I'm gonna go full force into this. I need to get better, not only for myself, but for my family. Philip is probably one of the most motivated patients that I've ever worked with, which is really important when recovering from a surgery. So really all the credit to him in terms of coming back from a few really difficult years. My wife and the donor and Dr. Colvin, they saved my life. I can literally do everything that I've done as a college soccer player, and I think I could do it better now. It took a long road to get there, there was a lot of blood, there was a lot of sweat, there was a lot of tears, but I'm finally, for the first time in my life, for the past six months, not limited by my need. I am a walking miracle. That's what everyone says, it's a miracle. It's been really gratifying to see him go from basically not being able to play with his kid to being able to be active again and run again. So he's really the whole reason why I went to this profession.